as I understand your problem, Megan is always wanting to follow me around like that. <laughs> <laughs> What's a parent for if not to embarrass their children? Um, there's a phrase that we have in English that um, represents a time when uh, you're trying to do something on your own power, with your own strength, which is really impossible to do. And that phrase is when you try to pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. Now, I don't have boots on right now. My boots are packed up somewhere in the middle of the Parker Four concourse. They don't have straps anyway. But I do have <laughs> shoes with shoe strings right now. So I'm going to demonstrate the absurdity of trying to pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. to go down. And so it's impossible to do. You're not going to be able to do it. You know, there was a time when uh, a man approached Jesus, and this man had everything. He was described by the Bible as rich and young. Uh, two things that are very desirable in, in this world. In some places, he, he's even called a ruler in some translations, which means he, he had a little bit of power. He came to Jesus and he said, teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, well, you have to, you know, obey father and mother and, and went through some of the Ten Commandments. And he said, do these and you'll live. And then said, so I've done all these since I was young. What do I still lack? Amazing to me that he knew he still lacked something. There was still something left over. Uh, and he said that he had done all those things. Uh, and so Jesus said, okay, one thing you, you still lack then, if you really have done all those things, you need to sell all that you have and give it to the poor. And with this, the Bible says the man went away dejected. He was downcast. He was discouraged and, and depressed because he had all this wealth. He didn't want to get rid of it. And so Jesus looked at him as he left and he said to his disciples, he said, you know, it's impossible for uh, a person to be saved. He said, uh, it's hard for a rich person to be saved. And it was the, the disciples which said, well, then who can be saved? Because if it's not a rich young person, then who can be saved? And, and Jesus said, with man, this is impossible. This is trying to, to pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. It's impossible. And he said, but with God, everything is possible. All things are, are possible with God. You know, everyone who's going to come down here and partake this communion this morning, we've got a couple things in common. Uh, number one, we, we realize that we can't save ourselves. That there's no way that we can overcome the guilt of, of sin. There's no way we can overcome the power of sin in our lives. There's no way we, could, we can overcome that, that lostness, that futility of life which comes from, from being lost, or spiritual blindness. There was nothing that we could do to overcome that ourselves. And the second thing we have in common is we all admitted that there was nothing we could do. It would be foolish for us to continue to try to pull ourselves up by our own bootstraps while God is hanging over us saying, let me help you up. Let me get you up. And we've all said, I can't do it on my own. I need him in order to be able to save us. And so we admit that we can't. Jesus told, told a parable where there were, there were two men who went to the, to the temple and one was a Pharisee and this Pharisee was, was praying to God, just thankful to God that he was righteous that he wasn't like sinners, that he went to church every, every time he could, that he gave his, his money to the offering as much as he could give. He said, I thank you, God, that I'm righteous, and I'm not like that tax collector over there. The tax collector stood away from everybody else, and no one could see him, no one could hear him. He hung his head low, and he said, God, have mercy on me. I'm a sinner. The Pharisee was trying to pull himself up by his own bootstraps, thinking that he could save himself. The tax collector realized this is impossible with man. Only God is salvation possible. And as we come this morning, you know, we know that God has done the impossible for us. He has rescued us from sin. He's rescued us from death when we couldn't do that on our own. We couldn't do it by ourselves. And so now Jesus invites us to come 
to remember that salvation that He's brought to us. The salvation that only He can provide. Forgiveness of sins that only He can provide. And so we don't have to be standing far off, hanging our head anymore. No, we come, we celebrate. We come boldly down here, confidently before these emblems that we're about to partake. We say, thank you, God. Not that I'm righteous, but because you're righteous. Not because of the things that I've done, but because of what you've done for me. Because you've forgiven me of my sins. That you've had mercy on me. Come boldly and confidently down here to partake this morning. And celebrate what he's done for us.